Hey, this is Sharif with ADSR Video. And in this video, a uh, quick tutorial video, we're going to utilize uh, contact, Native Instruments contact inside of machine. Now, you may say uh, contact, machine has a sampler. Yes, it's a sampler, and contact is the mother of all samplers. But what we're going to do is utilize the live pitch shifting um, options inside of contact, which machine doesn't have. You have to actually apply it in machine and then listen and then find where you want to pitch shift. But with contact as a instrument plugin and utilizing the uh, uh, functionality of that, you can achieve some live pitch shifting inside of machine with contact. So here we go. So I have this uh, sample that I actually uh, played from vinyl. I'm going to play it. So what I'm going to do is go in here and I'm going to find my uh, loop. Um, I actually had some drums too that I did. I made a little drum beat in here. So let's, let's check this out. Okay. So I'm going to have this play along with this. So I'm going to find my, uh, my loop points inside of here, utilizing the controller. Okay, I'll take that, right? So I like to duplicate. Just in case I mess up one, I can have it in some original settings. So I'm going to apply truncate. Then I'm going to normalize this to have it. Okay, so now that I have that in there, let's get this into contact. So. I've already opened up a contact a contact instrument inside of machine on track one of group B and I'm going to hit the plus and the pencil tool to bring expose the whole or expand the whole uh, contact interface and also because I'm going to be I want to drag stuff and drop it in here I'm going to pin it so inside of uh, machine 2.0 you can pin all of the native instrument instruments, uh, whether they're instruments or effects. And this allows this to stay no matter where you go in the software, right? Because if this is not pinned, then when I switch to another track view, it's going to go away and I have to go back to see what, what's going on. So I'm going to pin that so that stays there. Now, you would think normally I could go here, take this loop that I got, or sample audio and drag and drop it, won't happen. Maybe take it from here, select won't happen. If I go to slice, take slice parts, won't happen. Right? So what you have to do is trigger it inside of um, machine. Right? So I'm going to go here, right? Go to pattern view. And for this, maybe I'll, I'll get out of this for, for the moment so you can you guys can see exactly what I'm going to do. Right? And in pattern view, actually, I'm going to make this um, maybe 
four bars. I think it's almost four, not quite, but almost four. So I'll do that there. And now I can either A, double click and put a MIDI event there and then drag it out like that and hit play. Mute that. Right. So I can have that done like that. Cool. Now that I got this loop, let's go into machine and let's time stretch this. So I'm going to go to stretch and two bars is found at 70, uh, 70 point two and I'm at 124. So I can say, well, let me time stretch this by four bars. So it's kind of done in half time. So let's see. Actually undo. Undo that and make sure I don't have anything selected, right? So now let's hit apply. Let's listen to it. This whole thing, we hit apply. There we go. Let's listen, let's listen to that with the metronome and see where we at. Perfect. Great. Now, if I wanted to time stretch this, I mean, uh, pitch shift this and have this pitch shift or try different pitch shift. Um, octaves or, or semitones or what have you, different pitches, uh, I would have to go into inside a machine, go in here and get to time stretch and try different, you know, um, pitches and see what fits. And I have to do that multiple times, apply, 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 undo, apply, and that's just time consuming. So what I'm going to do is take this here, now that I have this as locked to my tempo, right? Um, and it's playing this original pitch, I can now go back to my contact right here, right? And I'm gonna go to the sound that I have, the, the MIDI event playing the loop, and I'm gonna just take the audio drag and drop option and just drag and drop that right in there. But now it's inside of contact. So. Now that's in contact, I can go in here and I can play this. Okay, perfect. Now, of course, if I go up and down the keyboard, it's going to play, you know, um, depending on what I have set up in here, right? So right? the pitch goes up, but so does the, the speed or the tempo. So what I want to do now is open up the wrench. I'm going to basically go underneath the hood in contact and say source instead of DFD direct from disc playback. I'm going to choose time machine pro. Choose that now when I play. It keeps the tempo but changes the pitch. So I can try different things without applying, undo, reapplying. So let's hear it with the beat. Let's go down an octave, so. 
So, pretty cool. Utilizing the Time Machine Pro option inside of Contact with the sample drag and dropping from the drag and drop option. Drag it and drop it right inside of Contact and utilize the um, advanced features of Contact Sampling Engine inside of Machine. Live time stretching. Peace.